Shop Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use area type and also perspective warp and smart objects to create interesting zigzag text. Now just going to go over here to the type tool and just going to create a, some area type. I'm just going to go to layer, but not layer, type and paste lorem ipsum. So I'm just going to add some text there. Right, once I've actually done that, now I could, if I wanted to, just go to Edit and Perspective Warp. Now, unfortunately it comes up with a must rasterize before, etc. So you might not want that. So if you actually work around that is to go to a layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So it's still live text. Now you can go to the Edit and Perspective Warp and it will come up with the usual layout and warp. So I can actually now just quickly add some regions of, of warping. So, so I'm just gonna add one, just add another one. Now if you actually do the this area slightly away from these, these pins, so you can actually just do that, but it's close enough that it actually realizes you want them to be joined. It actually just joins straight away. So you can actually just do it there just a reasonable distance away it, do that now if it doesn't actually do the join you can actually just drag it over and then it will do the join just create another one and you can do it fairly thin obviously you can have zigzag text thin. and of course you don't have to actually obviously keep them all consistent all the way across you can actually have it sort of wide at the start and maybe then sort of getting thinner and thinner as you go across I mean that's one thing you could do, so you can actually, oh, don't want to do that, don't want to drag that at that point. And we go and just add some more, just go all the way down, going very thin, add another thin one, and, and then another thin one there. Okay, so actually once it's done that, now just go to the warp to actually do the actual warping for this text. And you just go, just obviously alternate ones, just go up, or you could of course go down just that one there and again that one obviously up about the same sort of distance so you obviously just want it sort of cross that way now notice I've actually made a mistake so I can actually just go back to that and actually join those two together I missed that you can always just go back you don't have to obviously unfortunately loses the actual warping so just go back there again it just quickly shows you can just go back. You don't have to, continue. obviously, if you decide that the warp is not right, you can go back, just start again. Doesn't take more than a few seconds just to go back. Just add another one, just do that. And again, approximately the same sort of distance in a line. And again, you could obviously just do that one at the end, the same. Right, there you have zigzag text now, obviously just, click OK and you've got the text all nicely zigzagged and of course you could actually do it again if you actually want to make this even more sort of more extreme you would actually just turn around and say a layer and smart objects convert to smart objects so now the whole thing has become smart object it's still live text so you can still edit the text which is really useful and you can just go to again perspective warp and again add some layer obviously it's off slightly off screen now but you can actually obviously add some additional okay just catch that just slightly and you end up and you can quickly do the same and again I've obviously missed that so you can just drag that across it will actually just go you see when it, when you've actually can join them you actually will just go blue and again some more again thinner as you go across and again so right just join those again right that's that now I'll go to warp and again I can do it the other way now if I want I can actually just have it warping down that sort of direction so you can create some really again keep the alternate Do that one there, alternate one again, or approximately the same sort of distance. And again that one. 
And of course, you could actually do the other direction. Now, I've only obviously gone this direction, but you can actually do the other direction as well. Okay, and there you have it. Once you've actually got that, you've got the text going up and down and weird sort of, it's a weird sort of zigzag design. And this is in Photoshop CC 2014. Hope you found this of interest.